Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Now you are watching part 2 of the video. In this video, we will going to see what example we are going to create in the next 4 videos. So in the last video, we looked at the uh, basics of a flow layout panel. Now we will uh, look at the examples that we are going to create here. Here if you see there will be a flow layout panel that is invisible here. Inside that panel we placed some uh, random controls. Then we have two radio, I mean um, two group boxes and this is the first group box and uh, that group box contains uh, one more group box. We already know that these are group boxes or containers. So this is a container one C1 and this one is container two and there is one invisible container also. This is a container three. Container one is a group box. Container two is also a group box. But for container 2, container 1 is the parent, so it's a nested container. Here, C3 is a flow layout panel container. Alright, so this is just to show that how you can contain one more container inside a container. Here, group box 1, C1 is containing one more container, C2. The same way, you can nest other containers also inside some other type of container. Here, we have flow layout container. Inside that, if you want, you can place a group box or even one more flow layout panel container. All right. So these radio buttons will help us to test how these control behave when we change the flow direction. So what happens when we place the control left to right or what happens when you place it to top to bottom fashion. So flow direction will be controlled by these two radio buttons. After that we have flow brake and here we try to break the uh, flow of these controls by specific control. For example if you place a uh, check mark here in this radio button the brake will happen at this uh, green text box that means the flow brake will go to next line regardless of the size of this um, panel. Similarly, uh, this one is a brake flow by first radio button. Here the flow will be broken by this first radio button. So this will help us to see how to break the control at uh, runtime. Then we have uh, two more check boxes towards the end. One is enable auto scroll. So once you place a check mark here, uh, the break won't happen all the control will be presented either in one row or in one column depends on what flow direction you set and when you don't have uh, auto scroll then you can use this wrap control property this will allow the uh, breaking of the controls all right uh, that's all about the example this is what we will create in the next coming videos Thank you for watching. Bye.